everyone, it's Jen, aka MotoGP Sillies, and I'm here to tell you about when I won a Twitter contest to become a guest of the Patronus Yamaha team at the 2019 America's GP. So I'm just going to show you all the stuff that I got and tell you a little bit about what happened. So keep watching. So about two weeks before America's GP, I saw this Twitter contest where you could win two guest passes to America's GP. And I didn't really know what this included. I knew that it meant I got a pit pass or two pit passes for me and a guest. So I was all in. I love entering contests. I'd been trying to win the Motul Super Fan for like forever. And I hadn't won that. So I just thought, why not enter? I don't really understand how Twitter works, but... Uh, you had to tell a story through emojis, so I, I am a millennial, but like an old millennial, so I went on there, and I was racking my brain, and I just kind of spit out some emojis, I didn't know what I was doing, I'm not on, I'm not very active on Twitter, to be quite honest, so I would thought, well, there's that, I'm not gonna win that, some, uh, 19 year old who knows how to tell stories with emojis is gonna win. But I want to say a week later, I was at my friend's house and we were just watching TV and I saw I had an Instagram message from the guy who won in Argentina and he said, congratulations. And I was like, what? But I went over to Twitter and saw that I had won. So I didn't even have Twitter notifications on on my phone. I didn't know I won. Someone else had to tell me I won. But I flipped out. My friends have pictures of me like waving my arms in the air and screaming. I got, I was like shaking. I was just so freaking excited. So that's how uh, I found out I won. Yeah, I think that was a Saturday or a Sunday right before the GP. So on Thursday, the press day of the GP, I go to pick up my credentials. I was told I needed my ID and I needed to go to the credentials trailer. So I get there, there's an envelope with my name on it. There were two passes in there. Here's mine. My friend has his, but just the normal, except it has this beautiful Patronus guest cover. I kept it on there just for memories. So I got that. And there is this cute little envelope, uh, Jennifer contest winner. And a little thank you from the team. So I thought that was really precious. I just loved how welcome they made me feel. So on Friday around 10 a.m. I met up with my contact Cyril so he could just tell me what's up with the weekend and what the VIP pass entailed. So I met with him. He said we, me and my plus one, Claudio, got to have lunch in the Patronus hospitality all three days and to meet with him on Saturday morning right before FP3. So I was pretty excited about that. It was gonna be right before free practice three. We we're supposed to meet at the garage. So Friday we had an awesome lunch. We got to just be in the paddock and take pictures with everyone. And it was just a great time with just the normal uh, pass. It was just kind of a free for all day where I could just meet with friends and fans and the riders, so that was exciting. Uh, that was the second time I had had a paddock pass, and I just loved the energy back there. It was just awesome to be back there and have my, I felt a little VIP with my Patronus and getting to eat that nice lunch. So Saturday morning rolls around and it is raining, it is pouring, it is lightning, it is windy, it is insane. And I knew that the teams were scrambling. I knew MotoGP was scrambling to try to come up with a new schedule. So I didn't even bother. I mean, I, mean, I couldn't go wait outside the garage at 10 a.m. because it was just pouring. But once things cleared up and they had uh, the schedule reset, I messaged Cyril, my contact. And he said, yes, things are a little crazy right now. Contact me later. So once everything cleared up, Basically all they had that day for MotoGP was qualifying. It was an insane afternoon. So I knew, basically, I knew things weren't going as planned because of the rain and everything, but I just enjoyed another day in the paddock with friends and I got to have another delicious lunch in the Patronus hospitality. And then maybe around, I don't know, I wanna say it was late afternoon, three or four o'clock, Cyril messages me, 
please come to the garage in about 30 minutes and I'll give you a garage tour. So around that time, we, we, uh, my friend Claudio and I went over to the garage and Cyril opens the door. We get to go in and see everything. We get to see the bikes. We get to see everything behind the scenes of the Patronus garage. It was freaking awesome. But we couldn't take any pictures because the bikes were all naked. They were preparing them for the next day, race day. So I wanted to, I wanted to take pictures so bad, but it wasn't allowed. I totally understood. Um, we got to take this picture in front of the Patronus wall inside the garage. And then after that, uh, he leads us way back through this maze of buildings and gives us a little present. It's this, uh, backpack like drawstring back backpack and uh, photographs my Fabio one is signed but my Frankie one is not but they're still both pretty dang cool so those were in there and then a Patronus hat with Frankie and Fabio's signatures on it, so that's pretty awesome. It even fits my big old head, which is nice. So all that happened, and it was awesome. I'm not gonna lie. I was a little bit disappointed that I didn't get to meet any of the Patronus team, like Frankie or Fabio or even John McPhee or anyone. I, I was a little sad about that, but I understood. It was a crazy day after all that rain and the morning schedule being shuffled. And everyone's scrambling to try to get into qualifying and everything. So I was fine, but I was hanging out in back in the paddock. It was probably in the 5 o'clock hour, and my contact messages me, please come to the garage ASAP. And I had my phone out because I was taking pictures of everything. And so I panicked, and I, I couldn't find my plus one. I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. But I, I ran over there, and he's like, come back here. And we walked through the garage again. And he seemed to be looking for someone and he said they were just here and I was I had no idea what was going on I just knew I was walking through the garage again and then we come out of the garage where all the fans are Gathered mind you where I would be if I didn't have this around my neck and uh, so I, I see Fabio walking up first behind and then I see Frankie strolling on in and oh my god, there they were, they're right there. I didn't have time to think. I just smiled and they introduced me as the winner of the contest. And I distinctly remember Frankie like looking me in the eyes and saying congratulations. And oh, he's just so handsome and cool. So that was just a nice moment. I was just glad to say hello to them. And we got a quick snap. And somehow in all of this, uh, my friend Claudio had come over too. So he got to be in the photos as well. And we just got to say hello, get these awesome pictures, and then they were gone. So that was just an awesome moment. I I was so happy I got to have that moment with the guys. And then the next day was just like a normal day. It was race day. Um, I didn't even have lunch and hospitality because I just wanted to watch the races. So day three, race day was just normal. Um, I did get lucky enough to see Fabio's bike getting boxed up but that was out there for everyone to see but I was just so excited to see it up close with all the fairings and such and the cameras and uh, so here's a few pictures of that nothing to do with the VIP experience really just the paddock pass but it just ended up being an awesome weekend I can't believe that I won a freaking Twitter contest I'm like an old lady I, I was pretty proud of myself and it was just a great weekend I want to thank the Patronus Yamaha team they've gone on to greater things they've stopped doing this contest they did it for the first several where they gave away two paddock passes but um i'm lucky that i got in on that ground floor what an awesome team i'm so proud of what they've been accomplishing this season and just more great things to come and i'm glad i could be there in the beginning to just experience it so thank you patronus and um yeah hope you enjoyed this story if you want to hear other stories, um, I'm thinking of describing my Petrucci-filled Thursday night uh, this year's GP because it was awesome. 
And if you want to hear more, more of my opinions, more of my fangirling, please like, share, and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys on Instagram. Bye!